welcome back to another um, newborn cloth diaper review video. This one is on the Happy Bee Hines Bitsy Newborn Bamboo All-in-One Cloth Diaper. I have four of these in solid colors, but they are available in lots of different prints and other solids as well because I wanted to give them a try. Um, they were a completely natural fiber um, newborn all-in-one and I was very intrigued by that um, especially because they're um, such a great affordable option and they're available through a retailer that um, offers Sezzle which helps out so many families that are wanting to get into cloth diapering um, so yeah if you are interested in seeing all about this um, I also did an unboxing from when I am um, purchase them. I will link that in the description box if you want to check that out. That was just like my first impressions, me opening the package. Um, but I have been using this for 18 days now, I believe, with my newborn. Um, he is um, kind of outgrowing it. We could still use it, definitely, but he's like right at the end of it. He's definitely outgrowing the absorbency of it, but I do have a very... Um, heavy wetter child um, you can always add absorbency to boost it but I talk about all that in this video so if you are interested in checking it out um, keep watching okay so here I am just showing you the features with this black one I do own four of them and now there are so many other um, solid colors and really cute prints available I will um, post all of those here in this next slide so you can see which ones are currently on the website. This one is called the Bitsy Newborn All-in-One by Happy Behinds. It's got the logo right here. Happy Behinds. It has dual uh, crossover snaps, so you can snap it either way. I do like that feature. Um, it's just, it looks to be like a really good quality, um, affordable cloth diaper. It's supposed to fit approximately 5 to 14 pounds best, um, and they retail for $8 on the Happy Behinds website. So the outer is, of course, the PUL, which is the waterproof layer. Let me unsnap it here. Really nice, sturdy snaps. So here's what it looks like. There's just two rows right here. There are no rise snaps. That is one um, negative I have about this diaper. I think it would make a world of a difference um, if they would add rise snaps or even if they had an option somehow for it to snap down because while this is a very small diaper and it fit my baby very well for under the cord it didn't because it came up so high and there was no way for me to lower the rise at all or snap it down in any way and um, I couldn't really fold it to where it fit him very well um, but the size was there, it just needs some tweaking in my So the outside's the PUL and the inside is um, a 100% bamboo cotton interior that's of course lined. Um, it has the gentle leg elastics. Um, they're pretty well uh, made in my opinion. It has a front, let me see here a front tummy panel and also a back panel back here that's supposed to help prevent prevent wicking. Let me see if you can see it a little better. There we go. Um, it has a snap in insert. It has two snaps on it and it snaps in. It is three layers of bamboo. So it just snaps in the back like so. And that's just to ease your drying time, but I do love that this is a 100% natural fiber diaper. Um, I will say my baby is a heavy wetter, and so he is already out peeing this just as it is at um, a little over two weeks. Um, but you can always add, say, like a folded up cloth wipe, or if you have any boosters in there, 
as long as it still fits your baby. So final thoughts on the diaper. Do I think it is worth um, $8? I'm going to say yes if the features that I've listed are what you're looking for. Um, or if you think you're going to have a very tiny baby, um, then yes. The only thing is the umbilical cord. Um, some people don't want to clock diaper from day one and they want to wait for the cord to fall off. Um, some don't even start cloth diapering until their babies fit in one size. They don't even mess with a newborn. Um, I would not recommend, say, buying 24 of these for a newborn stash. Because, um, although it says 5 to 14 pounds, there is no way this would fit my baby at 14 pounds. My baby is already on the next to the last, um, hip snap. He has a very big belly and very tiny legs. So the, while the legs fit, um, he's almost outgrown the width this diaper um, will go. And he's already outgrowing the absorbency. Um, even when I add, say, a booster in there, it does work. Um, but I can't leave him in it for long stretches. Um, as soon as I know he's wet it, I immediately have to change it. So I think they're a good buy. I would just say don't invest your entire newborn stash in. But I do think it's a really nice quality diaper um, at a really affordable price. Alrighty, so that's it of my um, honest opinions as a mom. Um, I've cloth diapered from day one in the hospital. These diapers have seen merconium poo. Um, they do fantastic with sunning. I haven't um, used a dryer. I've just line dried either outside or inside. They do dry pretty quick with the um, bamboo cotton. Um, and so I do like that option. Um, the P well on the outer is really nice quality and it has um, held its color well. Um, the elastics have lasted. Of course, I haven't used them for a significant amount of time. But um, overall, I think they're um, holding their value for sure. And yeah, um, like and subscribe for more videos. And let me know if you've tried this one down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on it? How did it work for your newborn? And I will see y'all in the next uh, review video. Bye.